Hello, this is Miss Adele again, bringing you Miss Adele Speaks. Well, today I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Uh, some of the young people that talked me into doing this uh, told me, said, Miss Adele, you need to get a cell phone. And uh, I said, well, I, you know, my house phone work up there just as fine. My di the dollars work, everything worked just fine. I didn't like it when I had to change over and I couldn't use the, my circle dial no more and I had to change over. That was an adjustment enough. And I'm just now getting used to that. But anyway, they said, Miss Adele. You need to get a cell phone because you drive and think because I am an independent woman and I do still drive. They said, well, Miss Adele, you need to get you a cell phone because you drive in case you have a flat tire or something like that go on. So I let these young folks talk me into a whole lot of stuff. So I said, okay. So I went to the store and I'm going to get a cell phone. And they say at the store, they start showing me something, you know, what they call a galaxy phone. And I'm like, what is a galaxy? I ain't never seen phones that look like these phones look before. So I said, nope. Galaxy sound like it's going to be hard to operate. I don't need no galaxy phone. And uh, they said, well, you need something you could get on the internet with and, uh, and, 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 and get directions with. I said, no, nope. I don't need all that. I ain't, if, if I don't know where I'm going, I'm not going to go there. So I, that won't necessarily either. So I said, well, why don't you just get an iPhone? And I said, what in the world is an iPhone? Nope, I don't want no iPhone. No, I just want a my phone. And it took some tall talk. And I have never seen salespeople going to make you buy what they want you to buy. And then they're talking about I had to sign a contract for a telephone. I don't want to sign no contract. I ain't signing nothing. I don't owe no money. I don't have no bills. And I ain't looking to make no bills. I've been very careful with how I spend my money, what I do with my money. And that no bill. I don't, need, I don't need no bills at this age. So, they thought I was crazy. But they said, well, we only got like two or three of these left. And they said, we're going to give you a flip phone. And I'm like... Lord, that sounds about just worse as an iPhone and a Galaxy. But they told me that this was the most simplest phone that I could get. And uh, and I try to, I, you know, I, I, I got to admit, I try to keep up with the times. I, I really do. Because I like to think of myself as a modern person. In some aspects. In some aspects. I am a modern person. So, they went and I got this here. This is my flip phone. This is my flip phone. And they even told me that this little thing right here that you can see right there, that's a camera. And I will, I will be. Because the cameras that, you know, I have been used to, you know, you, the little box thing and they have a flash and you stick the flash in it, you know, I still got mine. It, they know, I don't take much pictures now, but I still got mine. So, um, so they said, um, you're going to be able to send text messages and you can take pictures. And you can get pictures. So, you know, they kind of sound kind of good. i give that a try. You know, um, I ain't quite mastered how to do the text messages yet. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, like I said, I ain't no, I'm not no dummy. And, you know, I, I just said, okay. You know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try the cell phone and I got the thing with the pictures. But let me tell you something. While I was in the store, there was a little boy in there about this high. And uh, his mama had done bought him a cell phone. And his mama had done bought him one of them iPhones. Here I am this age. I ain't going to get no iPhone. And, uh, he wanted a certain thing to go with it or something. And uh, 
She was like, no, we just going to start with this now. And we're going to leave it like that. But Lord have mercy. That child carried on in the stove. That child, it took every bit of the strength I had not to go over. And I was going to wear her out. And I was going to wear his little butt out. He told his mama she was stupid. He told his mama if she didn't get it, he was going to tell his daddy. And that his daddy was going to slap her and divorce her. He carried on in that store. And I was standing, I was standing in line behind him. And I was waiting for him, he kicking and and throwing his arms and frailing out. I was waiting. The Lord must have been with him today because I was waiting for him to kick me. I was waiting on him. I was waiting on him because I'd have whooped her tail and I'd have whooped his too. I had never seen no little boy talk to his mama like that boy talked to her over a telephone. And she just stood there and she said, I'll wait until you finish. Wait until it finish. Wait until... I know back in my day, you better not have talked to your mama like that. Shoot, my mama used to send us out to get our own switches. She going to stop it. She used to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you up front before you stick out behind. We ain't going to no store. It ain't really going no store. And talking about an iPhone, some kind of telephone, we ain't never... Anything fancy or special, we work ourselves and get six years old and he telling his mama she's stupid. And then she going to sit there and say, I'll wait. Wait on what? I'll be waiting for the undertaker to come and pick you up or take you to the hospital. Going to sit there and call somebody stupid, call your mama stupid. Well, anyway, I I got over the shock of that. Yeah, I've been using my iPhone for, you know, a few weeks and everything. So, had somebody, lady lived down the street, said, Miss Adele, I got a cousin that done moved down here from Philadelphia. And uh, he's a widow. And uh, see, me, Miss Adele, I have never been married. But anyway, she said he is a widow. And uh, with a well, rather, with a well. And I asked uh, Miss Adele, uh, he would like to meet some nice lady, you know, and uh, I told him about you. Now, I don't, you know, like I said, you know, just because a little gray up here and uh, little gray other places, and too, I'm going to admit. Uh, it don't mean that there ain't no coal in the furnace. And there's lots of coal in the furnace. It just takes somebody mighty special to warm it up. And can't everybody ain't got the lighter fluid. So, uh, you know, I take a little company from time to time and everything. And uh, so I said, well, give him my phone number. <laughs> I got my cell phone. So I said, well, give him my phone number. So, um, him being from Philadelphia and everything, he had a cell phone too, you know. Uh, so, he uh, texted me and it shocked me the first time a text came in on the phone. So, I realized who it was and everything. And, uh, so, you know, I'm struggling to text back and forth and everything, which I would rather he pick up the phone and call, which he has done. But, um... So, uh, I get the text, and we text and stuff back and forth and everything, and, uh, uh, then, uh, started getting, you know, uh, a picture or two come on here, which was exciting to do, it's something new, and, uh, it was exciting, and, uh, so he sent a picture of himself, you know, it was so much better in the old days, you had to take the camera, and you had to take it and go to get it developed and work, wait five to seven business days to get it back, and, and everything so that I mean that that's a good part this, this that's good technology is good so anyway 
you know, he sent pictures back and forth. I don't know how to send no, no uh, picture. I ain't learned how to uh, work it well enough to, you know, to send no picture back to him and everything. But, um, you know, he sent a couple of pictures and everything. And um, so finally the time come to meet. He could come down and um, the time come for us to uh, to meet. And uh, he came by my house and I, I said, well, uh, if you want to come by, you know, normally, you know, I just go on out to eat. But I said, uh, if you want to come by, uh, I will fix some uh, some lunch or something that, you know, you, you like, you know. I mean, he seemed pretty presentable and everything, and I know the lead down street pretty well, and they decent people and everything. So that's why I'm kind of little dressed up today, cause you know I'm gonna do a little entertaining, and uh, and uh, you know got my you know kind of got a little bit not too not too much, you know I gotta leave something to the imagination. So I wore this, you know, just to show a little bit, you know, you know I like got a little spunk about me, you know, and uh, so uh, he come in the house and. Uh, you know, he looked like he did on this this his cell phone. So, and that was a good thing. I mean, he looked like he did. Um, he was okay. He was presentable. You know. So, I mean, company, little company, company. You know. And I had a fix up and thing. You see, Miss Adele. You know, I know how to get right. When I get right, I know how to get right. And um, so, uh, I you know made uh uh some uh, uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches, you know. Uh, he said he had no issue with his blood pressure or nothing like that, so I made bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. And uh, I had some iced tea. I made iced tea. And um, had some pound cake and some peaches uh, for the dessert, you know. So I didn't want to lay too much on him because, you know, I got to find out how he is and everything. Um, so you know, we ate the sandwiches and stuff like that, and uh, actually we sat on the porch and had lunch. And uh, so, by the time you know uh, dessert came, time for the get you know the the pound cake and the peaches, the sun had done come over my porch quite you know a bit, and it was shining kind of hard on the on the porch, and it was making it hot. So I, I invited him. I said, well, come on into the uh, living room and we can have our uh, pound cake and peaches in the living room. So uh, we go into the living room. And while we sitting there, you know, I hadn't got the dessert yet. So we sitting there talking. The conversation was going okay so far. So while we sitting there talking, he said, did you get the picture? And I said, yeah, I, I, I got the pictures and everything. And uh, he said, uh, did you get all the pictures? And I'm like, yes, I got all the pictures. So he told me, uh, how you like the picture of my stuff? That's my clock right there. And, uh. I said, your stuff? He said, yeah, I sent you a picture and why he was up? Yeah, I sent you a picture of my stuff. And I'm like, what stuff? He said, the last picture I sent you was a picture of my stuff. I told him, what you mean, what stuff? He said, I sent you a picture, you know, and he kind of pointed down there, you know, let you know what I'm working with. I said that. I thought that was a bowl of prunes you was sending me to tell me what you was having for breakfast. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So he kind of, you know, no, that was my stuff. I mean, like I said, I thought it was three prunes. He that he was constipated. It was showing me what he was having for breakfast. I don't used to see nothing like that. I wasn't expecting it to come over no dog on cell phone. So anyway, I said, man, this man crazy. So I said, well, let me go ahead and uh give him the dessert. So he can go ahead on about his business. So I 
went and uh, he said, can you bring me a glass of water? And uh, I went and I got a, bought a glass of water and I brought it out to him because I was still trying to get peaches out the can and slice the cake. So I bought him a glass of water and he had these little pills, little blue pills. And uh, he said, I need to hurry up and take these. I said, what is it? Something for your heart? Is it nitroglycerin? What is it? And uh, he popping them back like they was Tic Tacs. And he said, no, this my Viagra. I'm like, Viagra for what? He said, in about 20 minutes, you'll see. So, uh, I'm like, well, Viagra, I mean, I thought it was something for his heart. So I go in there and I slice that cake and I dish out them peaches and I bring them on back in the tray. By the time I got back into my living room, he had every bit of his clothes off except for them socks with the hole in the big toe. Spread out on my sofa like that looked like an overcooked turkey. I said, just stay right there just one minute. I went in that kitchen and I got my broom and I wove his tail out in my living room. Yes, I did. And he was, let me give him clothes, let me give him clothes. I said, no, no, sir. You sitting in here, you going to leave out of here just like you come into the world. And that's the way I ran him out of my house just like he came into the world. Except for them dingy, holy socks he had on his feet. All I got to say is, I feel sorry for y'all young women if that's what it's all about. He just automatically assumed. Yes, he did. But I tell you one thing. I bet you by the time he finished picking them bristles of straw out his butt, his hairy beaded it be butt, he will never forget Mr. Adele. No, sir. If you come here to Adele, you got to come correct. Like I say, I may have it here, great, and I may have it in other places, but there's still fuel in this furnace. But everybody ain't got the match to light it. And from what I seen in that bowl, them little three dried up prunes, he dog or sure ain't the one. This is Miss Adele. Y'all have a good day. Telling you now, it'll be a cold day. Yeah. Margaret, don't you ever send, don't you ever send him down here again. Hold on, let me turn this here thing off. What in the world?